Is the grass greener for anglers leaving the Bass Pro Tour back to the leads? That's what we're gonna talk about right now. So if you can do me a favor, I have a goal that I'm trying to reach. If you like this kind of content, click that like and subscribe button and become part of the team and family. And thank you. What happens when an angler decides to return from the BPT back to the leads? Do they make more money? Is their average finish better with the BPT or the leets? And how does the money fare too? Now up front, there are not anglers leaving the elites to go to the Bass Pro Tour. These are the most exclusive two tournaments. Next, there are a lot of anglers that move from the BPT into the opens or back into the elites themselves with an exemption that are asked to do so by their sponsors. Up front, the Bass platform is bigger than Major League Fishing. That's not throwing shade at Major League Fishing. Bass has a bigger platform and a more loyal group of people or fans that are watching them. And those fans get kind of crazy at times. But over the last few years, something that I have always wondered is where an angler, if an angler is more successful on the BPT or mate or the leads. But getting a decent sample size is the part that has been challenging. Now I did a few anglers. I did si I did seven. I did Brandon Palinick, Jason Christie, Jordan Lee, Gre uh, Greg Hackney, Gerald Swindle, Mike Iaconelli, Jake Prozic, and Justin Atkins. And how I viewed it was I looked at their total points or the finishes that they had and I got an average finish of what they finished on. On the elites versus what they finished on the major league fishing bass pro tour i then looked up their total winnings during that time now, i only did five anglers for the the total winnings and i did it got their total winnings gave them an average and then also did the same for the bass pro tour and i think you're going to be a little bit surprised because quite honestly i am surprised by this now I'll just do a couple anglers. Brandon Palinick left after one year. His average finish on the leads has been 32nd since rejoining, but he also won Angler of the Year. Jason Christie left after one or two years. His average finish on the leads has been 40th. He's had three wins, including a classic win. So it makes sense for those two anglers, because they've been successful, to have made that move back. And Jordan Lee, who just joined back this year, his average finish is 14th this year, but he is in contention to win Angler of the Year in the 2024 season. So it makes Makes a little bit more sense on why he joined. Now the next five anglers I've done not only their average finish with the elites but their average finish on EPT and then also done the notes on their average winnings also. So we'll start with Gerald Swindle. His average finish on the lease since returning is 45th. His average BPT, Bass Pro Tour, finish was 42nd. Now Gerald Swindle has made 280 roughly $82,000 since returning to the elites, which averages out to $7,611. On Major League Fishing, he won $18,000, so his average tournament check was $2,250. Now, in Gerald's thing, the first couple years, Major League Fishing didn't have any entry fees. You have to remember these guys are paying $5,000. It's it is a pay to play service. So in some of these guys, you're gonna notice that they're not making as much as it costs to pay the $5,000 plus to join. Greg Hackney's average finish on since joining the elites is 36th. His average finish on the BPT was 28th. Greg Hackney has made $367,000 for an average check of $8,542. On the BPT, he made $121,000 and his average check was $8,000. $643. He averaged $101 more per tournament with Major League Fishing. Mike Iaconelli's average finish is 57th since returning to the elites, but his average finish on the BPT was 32nd. Iaconelli has made $125,000 since returning to the elites, with his average check per tournament is $4,823. For the BPT, he made $101,000. Now he did round up a little bit. And that gave him an average finish of $7,193 per, per tournament. So couple thousand dollars better on the BPT versus the Leeds. Jacob Prosnick average finish on the Leeds is 44th. With Major League Fishing, the Bass Pro Tour, he averaged a 31st finish. Jacob Prosnick has made $309,000 since returning, which he averaged out to $11,882. With Major League Fishing and the Bass Pro Tour, he made $279,000 for an average of just under 20 grand per tournament. Now that's the biggest discrepancy. In his case, he made almost $8,000 more fishing the BPT versus the elites. 
And then last but not least, we had Justin Atkins, whose average finish on the Elite since rejoining is 54th. His average finish on the BPT was 43rd. Now, Justin has made $160,000, which averaged $3,804 per tournament when since rejoining the Elites. On the BPT, he made $46,000 for an average check of $3,300. So in this case, he's actually making $500 more. So the, the numbers are a little weird. I really thought there would be a giant discrepancy with the anglers going back but that just shows how strong the field of the elite anglers are. And again, it's hard to get a sample size of all the things that are going on. There are no anglers trying to go to BPT, and there's a lot of anglers leaving leaving BPT to go back to the elites or the opens. And truthfully and honestly, in my opinion, the opens and the invitationals are the best tournaments to be in. But if you get that opportunity to get into the next level, you have to take it. That exclusive group of anglers that are on the elites and then the BPT, is quite phenomenal and as it gets harder to get into both or they cut things down like major league fishing is it's going to make that group of anglers even more exclusive do you think it's right for the bpt anglers to go back to the elites did you think that they'd be making a lot more money with elites over the bass pro tour and remember next year is the first year that the tournament winnings will go up for the major league fishing bass pro tours that's the biggest thing that's happened over years the tournament to win a tournament has always stayed the same and at some point we have to increase that level of payout because they're not decreasing the tournament fees and with all the amount of money and the stuff that it costs to become a professional angler you think it's worth it so comment below and tell me what you think thanks for hitting that like and subscribe button and welcome to the team remember take a kid fishing get your fish on i'll talk to you soon cheers